Shalom. Today we're looking at the letter Kaf. Grab your pen and your notebook and let's practice some Hebrew. Shalom. Welcome to Scribe School. Today we're going to learn a new letter. It's letter number 11 and it has two forms. It has a form when it's in the beginning or middle of a word and it has a second form used when it's the last letter of the word. The, the letter is Kaf and it looks like this. Kaf looks like a backward C and it makes a K sound. So you can see why we want to differentiate the Kaf from, for example, the Bet, which goes like this. It has that corner. Remember, the Bet has that little, little corner on it there. So the letter Kaf has a final form that is a look like a dollet, a straight line with a vertical on the right, but it goes down, extends below the, the bottom line of text. So this is our Kaf form. And this here, this is called our Sofit. Our Sofit, which means final. Sof, sof in Hebrew means end. Sofit just is a way of describing uh, uh, the, a final form. It's an adjective, Sofit, Kaf Sofit. That's the final cough. So here we go again. Let's let's write some more of these. It's kind of like a like if you were going to make a capital D in English, but not put the vertical line. Let me change some colors here. Cough, cough, and be sure to practice some cough so feats. And I'm going to show you some texts from the Dead Sea Scrolls and from our 10th century Washington Pentateuch that we've looked at. But before we go there, we want to make one more point to differentiate the Kaf Sofit from the letter Dalit. Let's make a, we'll make a red Dalit here. Remember Dalit's going to look the same, but it's not going to have as long as a vertical line as the Kaf Sofit does. So the Kaf Sofit is differentiated by this extra long line vertically that goes down below the standard writing line. There it is up there. So you want to practice both of these together. You want to practice your coughs. So you get used to them. You go practice cough, cough so feet, cough, cough so feet, cough, cough so feet, etc. That was, last one's kind of sloppy there. Let's make that a little better. And you can even practice, you know, going between uh, Kafsofits and Dalits, for example, just to get your brain and your muscle memory real familiar with differentiating the Dalits and the Kafsofit. Okay, let's shift gears now and we're going to look at our Dead Sea Scrolls. We're going to go back to the great Isaiah scroll. And we're looking at a passage here from Isaiah 14, 29. We're not looking at the whole passage, but basically it, it says, Kule ki nishpar shevet makecha. Now what we're going to see here are, uh, it's talking about, uh, do not rejoice, O Philistines, all of you. That's this kule ki nishpar, oops, ki nishpar. Shevet, uh, makecha, the rod of your striking has been shattered. But we're just going to look here for kafs. The first letter here is a kaf. It's kulek, kaf vav lamed, which we'll learn next week or next video. And then a kaf sofit. So see, there's two different forms here, kulek. I chose this verse because it was one of the more easily discernible from the scroll because the ink had a nice pop to it and we could uh, differentiate it from uh, other sections of the Great Isaiah Scroll where it's a little more hard, uh, hard to differentiate the letters because the stain uh, of the of the leather. So kulek kaf vav lamed kaf sofit. So you see the first and last letter of this word are they look alike except the second one goes down then we have the word ki kaf yod so now we know both those letters nishbar we don't know these letters except the bet here 
Shevet, we know the Bet and the Tet. And then um, Makeka, Mem, we haven't learned, but Kaf, Kaf, He. Kaf, Kaf, He. So if we look at, uh, let me, I'm going to bring over, let's see if I can, it's not letting me move that over. There we go. I'm going to bring the little dry erase board over here and just do some, some comparison. So the cough we see here uh, it, in the scroll here, it, it kind of goes down and like that. And then the cough so feet, kind of the same thing, a little, but just a little bit longer. So you can see how the, the cough and the cough so feet were differentiated in the great Isaiah scroll just by a little bit of length. But that's not how we're learning. Uh, we're learning more. Uh, uh, our simple block form looks more like what we see in the Tiberian uh, calligraphy tradition. And if we're going to go there now and look, go back to our passage from uh, Genesis 15. And this is where the Lord appears uh, to Avram in a, in a vision. Uh, Lemor. Altira Avram, do not be afraid. So Altira Avram, Anochi Magenlach, I am your shield. So here we're going to see this word Anochi. That's the word meaning I, I, like the capital letter I, first person, we call it technically a first person singular pronoun. It's Aleph, we know that letter, Anun, which we'll learn in, in weeks to come. An, and then this little dot up here is a vowel called an O. We'll learn that later. Anohi, but you see the cough. This is a cough. It's not a bet. Here you can compare a cough with the bet. We see Harbe here below. This is a bet. And see, the bet has this little, little edge on the lower right. That is really important for us to differentiate between the cough and the bet. They're very close. Anohi, and you see it ends with the yod. So Anohi means I. And see how this cough looks really, uh, well, it's quite beautiful, but very close to the simple block script, which is just a backwards uh, C that we're, we're learning. Anohi. Then he says, Magen Lach. Magen is the word for shield. You see the gim, uh, gimel in there, Magen. And then Lach. Again, the Lamed we haven't learned, but the Kaf Sofit. Kaf sofit, lach. So if I place this just right, you'll be able to see both the kaf here in anohi and the kaf sofit in lach. And lach means yours. I am your shield or I am a shield for you, lach. And then we see here, uh, skarcha. Uh, is your reward. So again, we haven't learned the scene, but we have a kaf Reish, and then a kaf sofit. So just in this little segment of text from Genesis 15, we can see two kafs in the normal form, in anochi and sechar, right here, reward. And then we see two kaf sofits for lach, right here, kaf sofit, and the end of the suffix for uh, reward, ka, right here. And so if I just... Uh, bring back my little dry erase board here and write we can see once again we've got a a, a cough like this and then a cough so feet cough cough so feet so there you have it you can now identify many many letters and let's, let's do this real quick. Let's write through all the letters that we know. Let's choose it. What color shall we use? Let's use green for Aviv, since that we're almost to the season of Passover here. So we've got Aleph. There's our Aleph. Our Bet. Gimel. Dalit. Hey. Vav. Zion, Chet, Tet, Yod. Now we're going to add Kaf and Kaf Sofit. Let's, let's do a bigger in a 
and purple here. Let's I'm gonna make my marker a little bigger here. Let's see if I can do this. We'll scroll this up. Olive, I'm gonna make that better. Olive, bet, gimel, dalit, hey, vav, zion, uh, chet. We'll just do eight across there. I think I can fit those. Tet, yod, kaf, and then kaf sofit. There you go. And remember, you can go back and forth between a dalit and a kaf sofit to get a sense of those. And also, you know, don't forget to to uh, write them very small. Like I'll go black ink, a small pen, and you know, you can practice writing really small. See how small how small can you write? Olive, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, Hey, Vav, Zion, Chet, Tet, Yod, Kaf, Kaf, Sofit. You can um, do another good exercise is between uh, Kaf and Bet. So right now we're not worried about learning vocab. That'll come later. We, we want to make sure we really are anchored in and strong competency, strong uh, surety and knowledge of the basic letters. And we want to, especially when it comes to bet and cough or cough so feet and dalit, to differentiate between these letters, just lickety split, right? We want, we want to build uh, that second nature skill. And once we have that, then our approach to learning uh, nouns, objects, you know, vocabulary in Hebrew, names, that will then uh, be able to take all our attention. And that's where our attention needs to be. But until these letters of the alphabet are second nature, we're not going to be able to give all our attention to that next level of content. So that's what we're working on here. So continue to practice your letters and be patient with yourself go back and review and remember you can't write any of these uh, enough you want to get them uh, just in your system in your heart in your muscle memory in your mind you want to be able to reproduce them from memory and to recognize them that's why i think it's great to write them in different colors in different uh, sizes and you can even like we talked about before you know if you wanted to you could just, you know, practice, you know, kind of the calligraphy style of, let's say, a cough like this, where you kind of do the, the outline. It's kind of sloppy, but then you can go and, you know, color it in. And even if you don't have a calligraphy pen, you can uh, mimic that, that, that nice calligraphy form. I could refine my sloppy line there a little bit there's a cough and you could do the same with a you know a cough so feet it's got the vertical line like that and or sorry the vertical line after the horizontal line and you can go back and fill it in Ooh, that's big and remember that's going to be different than a dollet the dollet is going to be you know is only going to go so far down on the right hand side not as far as the cough now those letters are way different size anyway it would be more if they were side by side remember it's going to be like this so dalit cough so feet dalit cough so feet etc you get the point so keep at it don't get discouraged, get discouraged uh, and just you will see the fruit of your labor, but you've got to persevere. All right, until next time, shalom.